Hey guys, I have a massive grocery haul to share with you. This is about $450 worth of stuff, maybe a little bit more. And there are some household items thrown in there, but for the majority of this haul, it's just food. So I went to three different stores. I went to Price Mart, which is our Costco, and that's where I go once a month to stock up on like our big bulk items. And those items usually last us just about a month or over a month and then i went to pequeño mundo which i hadn't been there to go grocery shopping in a while so i was really glad i went because i got a lot of items from there and then i also went to auto mercado now i've already explained in a couple of my other grocery hauls that i do the price smart stock up once a month but i also do go to the grocery store on average about once a week to pick up things that we run out of because obviously produce and bread and things like that they won't last us an entire month but for the amount of stuff that i picked up today i won't have to go to the grocery store for about two weeks which is amazing because right now you know what's going on trying to not go to the grocery store as much and also I did go a little bit crazy today and I did stock up on a bunch of different items because I hadn't been to the grocery store since before Christmas. So I wanted to start the new year off right and get a lot of items that we were running low on and just things that I like to have on hand in the pantry and the freezer. So I got a lot of snacks, mainly for the kids, and I got a bunch of groceries and like food items to make breakfast, lunch and dinners. And that way we can be all set for the next couple of weeks. So I'm just going to jump right into the video and I'm going to show you all the stuff from Price Mart first. So we needed toilet paper and I usually get the member selection toilet paper rolls from Price Mart. So I got this. It's 24 packs and this lasts us about a month. I got my husband the Quaker Simply Granola. I haven't gotten him this in a while like at least a couple of months so i figured i'd go ahead and stock him back up this is two big bags has oats honey raisins and almonds and this will last him for a really long time i got some rice i do have rice on hand in our emergency stockpile but we're trying to leave that in our emergency stockpile so i picked up three packs of the 95 percent whole grain rice this is the rice that i usually like to cook with it's like pre-cooked and everything we ran out of tortillas, and I like to have this on hand because the kids go through tortillas, especially my daughter, pretty quickly. So I got the four-pack of the flour tortillas, and I saw this, and I thought this was something that my husband might like. So I went ahead and picked him up these organic Simply Grain bars. They're a really good price. They come with 20 bars in here, and it was like $10.00. So I'm going to try him with those, and I'm going to try these as well. So got that. We really like these Artesano hamburger buns. So I got two four-packs, so that's like eight buns in here. And then, of course, I picked up another um, two containers of eggs because my husband eats eggs every single morning for breakfast, and it's a really good protein source to have on hand for a quick meal. I got the tuna in water again. This pouch lasts my husband a pretty long time and it's great to have this on hand for him for like a quick meal, especially like a sandwich or something. And then I got some granola bars. I haven't gotten granola bars in a minute. So I got the sweet and salty peanut granola bars. I think the kids might like that. And it comes with 36 bars. I didn't even realize that. So that was a really good deal. Something that I've been picking up every month is a staple is the Caribbean style patties. So I get the beef and I get the chicken and that's a quick snack or a quick meal for the kids, mainly like my oldest and myself. We've been really loving these. And then I got a huge bag of croutons, the roasted garlic flavor. I figured might as well get a big bag instead of getting them small at the grocery store because the smaller bags, pretty much you get a better deal and you get a lot more at Price Smart. So I went ahead and got that. And then over here, I got the four pack of the tropical tea 
the tropical teas. They're iced tea mixed drinks. So I got the four pack of that for the kids because we completely ran out of juice and they were like moaning about it. Got some Prego fresh mushroom sauce. I get this every month. I like to have this on hand. This huge container makes a couple of meals, at least four different like Italian or pasta type meals. So I like having this on hand. And then we completely ran out of coconut oil. So I got some coconut oil and it was a really good deal today. So I was glad I caught that and picked up another huge container. And this will last us a while. We ran out of ranch dressing, so I picked up another bottle. And then I decided to get the Italian dressing as well. I did get the Olive Garden dressing, which I have yet to try, but the kids tried and said it tastes exactly like the salad dressing in the restaurant. So I was glad to have that. But I wanted to get this on hand because this is also a great like marinade for chicken and fish. So I picked that up. Two bags of the cheese ravioli. I like to have this on hand for quick meals for everyone. I have six people in my family and everybody eats differently. My husband does not eat red meat or chicken, but he does eat like fish, certain types. My daughter does not eat meat and she does not eat fish. And then my like 12 year old does not eat beef. So every time I cook something, I'm always looking for options that everybody will eat so that it's easier for me at dinner time. So this is a great option. These are the cheese raviolis. I got a four pack of chicken. I do have chicken on hand, but there are four of us in this house that like to eat chicken. So I figured these, um, the four pack, these will be a good option for meals for us for a couple of different nights. And then I also got a big bag of tilapia because again, four of us in the house do like to eat fish. So we'll have that for a couple of different meals as well. And I believe that is everything that I picked up today from Price Mart, which again is our Costco and that's our bulk store. And I go there once a month to pick up like bulk type items. Now on to Auto Mercado. I got my husband's teas. He is very much into drinking teas every day. My husband, my oldest son, and my daughter, they drink, drink tea like water. So I got him a couple of boxes of his favorites, of all of their favorites, the strawberry fields, green tea, the cinnamon apple spice, and the orange ginger. And then we completely ran out of bread, which is a no-no in our house because obviously, like, as a large family, we can go through a, lo a loaf yeah, a loaf. Yeah, we can go through a loaf of bread in like one sitting. So, so I figured two loaves might last us two weeks and then I'll have to go back and get some more. And then I saw this and it looks really, really yummy. So I'm trying to recreate some kind of Olive Garden dish like a al creamy Alfredo type pasta. I have the croutons, I have some lettuce and I have the dressing. And so all we need is something to make the breadsticks. And I thought this would be a good option. These are brioche rolls. And I figured I could brush these with some garlic butter and toast this up. And that would be a good option for the breadsticks. So I have that. I might actually make that tonight. Tomorrow is my husband's birthday. And he loves, loves, loves these coconut almond chocolate um, ice cream bars. So I got him that for a little treat. I've been wanting to try these glazed donuts. They're very pricey. Um, I don't know how many come in here. I think it's between like four donuts or six donuts. I'm not exactly sure, but they're like $10. So, oh yeah, six donuts. So I figured I'd splurge and this could be a nice little treat for us as a family one day, maybe for breakfast, maybe for dessert. Um, I guess it's cheaper than getting like the like donuts from the mall, I guess. But I got that, and it's pretty simple. You warm these up either in the microwave or the oven. 
And then, okay, back here, I got a couple of boxes of cereal. We still have some cereal on hand, so I didn't pick up a ton for the kids. I got the Cookie Crisp, and I got the Nesquik for them, if you can see that. And then for me, and probably my oldest son, he likes these two. I got two boxes of the Vitalissimo chocolate and hazelnuts, because this is bomb with yogurt. And that's a great breakfast option for me. It keeps me full for the entire morning until like dinner time for real got some more yogurt i like the strawberry and then some orange juice everybody in the family loves this i got a sparkling ice for me just to have on hand some more beef burger patties for a quick meal one night cream of mushroom sauce and then i had to get this my husband really likes this strawberry jam so i got that because the kids like strawberry jam or strawberry jelly with either cream cheese or peanut butter so i wanted to have a lot of this on hand because we just ran out two cans of the red seasoned beans some bananas these will ripen up in the next few days some coleslaw mix i got this mainly to put in salad but also to make coleslaw because my son he my 12 year old he loves coleslaw some grapes and then four boxes of macaroni and cheese the mini elbows and the mini penne so coming over here i have the rest of what is from Arda mercado three heads of broccoli because yes we love 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 broccoli and a ton of lettuce because again i have all that crouton all those croutons and all the salad dressings so we'll go through that pretty quickly two different cream cheeses so just a regular cream cheese for the kids and then i like this laughing cow cream cheese and then obviously when the kids run out of this they always dip into mine so it's good to have cream cheese on hand i got the yogurt that i like this is a great option for me for a quick breakfast and then some meatless options for my husband and my daughter they both like this ultimate beefless burger, so I get this for them whenever we do burger nights. And then the meatless meatballs for everyone else. I think my daughter and my 12-year-old, they're not a big fan of these, but everyone else is. And then I didn't get the kids these over the holiday season. For some reason, they were hard to find. So I just picked up three for them. This will be a, like... I don't know, a quick little treat maybe tonight or sometime this week for them. And that is everything from, yeah, that's everything from Auto Mercado. Now on to Pequeño Mundo. So I was looking for hash brown patties over the holidays for Christmas breakfast and could not find it. So I went into Pequeño Mundo and they had hash brown patties. So I picked up this huge, ginormous container of it. This will last us a really long time. I like having this on hand occasionally, not all the time. It's not a staple, but occasionally this is a really good option to have on hand for a quick meal. And then I got these cheese stuffed yucas. They're like potato balls stuffed with cheese. And I know my daughter will like that because she is a cheese head and we all like potatoes and it's meatless. So we'll all enjoy that. And it comes with 10. So that will be a good side one night. More of these popcorns, the ones that you put in the microwave. I do have a popcorn maker and I have kernels. But sometimes when I'm being extra lazy, I just go ahead and pop this in the microwave for the kids. I needed a surge protector, I think. I don't know if the cord is long enough, but I'm going to try that out. But it's always good to have these on hand i picked up two more containers of the J caribbean or jamaican is it jamaican caribbean the jerk seasoning and the curry seasoning these are bomb i'm not completely out of the ones i have in the refrigerator right now but i don't want to run out so i got two more backups and then i got some <laughs> eggnog i know i know the holiday season is over but I wanted to try this. It was a little bit more pricey than the normal eggnog that I tend to get, but it just looks really, really good. So I have that. I got a can of coconut milk just to have on hand and then more jelly. This is more like a jam. So I have that on hand as well. Like I said, the kids do go through a lot of this. 
And then chips galore. So what you did not see in my Price Mart haul, you did not see chips with the kids because my in-laws went to Price Mart yesterday and they picked up a 24 pack of the variety chips for the kids and they also got us a box of almond milk, which was amazing because we completely ran out of almond milk. So I didn't have to pick up almond milk today and I didn't have to pick up chips, but I wanted to have some variety on hand. So I got the sun chips. We all love this. And then I got the Friday's onion rings and the mozzarella sticks and the Doritos Cool Ranch. These are all like treat type items. And then I have three more bottles of the honey that I like to get at Pequeño Mundo. If I only go to Pequeño Mundo for one thing, I would get this. It is super affordable and it's really good. It's all natural, 100% raw, unprocessed honey and my husband really likes it and like I said honey it's hard to get honey of this quality that's affordable and this is like a dollar fifty which is insane I got some onions and tomatoes because we completely ran out of those and those are a staple then I saw these and, and thought maybe it would be nice to give it a try these are cheesecake cream and blueberries like mini individual cakes. I don't know. It just looked good. Thought it would be an interesting thing to have on hand. And then also these like crouton garlic breads. I don't know. They looked good too, man. So I went ahead and picked a, a bag up and it was really, really cheap, like under $2. Another of these Petty, Betty Crocker moist cakes to have on hand. Again, I'll throw this in my stockpile. It's just good to have these little things on hand in case the kids want cupcakes for their birthday or whatever. I have it. Pasta. I love getting my pasta from Pequeño Mundo. I hadn't gotten it from Pequeño Mundo in a while because I hadn't been going there for groceries. And the lines are not that terrible right now. So I got the farfowl, rotini, and spaghetti. And that'll do us for a while. Some cookies and cream Oreo cookies for the kids. And then I got some of the trail mix. This is a sweet and salty mix. I usually get my trail mix from Price Mart. It is a bigger bag, but they keep going up on the price. And this was actually pretty decent. It was like under, under $6. So I went ahead and got that. Small bag of potatoes because I do have some on hand. And I believe that was everything from Pequeño Mundo. Oh no, there was one more. This is also from Pequeño Mundo, and this is a desk for my 12-year-old son. I picked up the same exact desk for my daughter, so I went ahead and got another one for him. So I'm trying to like just upgrade the kids to better furniture that fits them better. They've had desks in their rooms that they've had since they were really, really little. So I built my daughter's desk and I showed that in a video. Yes, I did, I believe. So my husband said he'll build this desk with my son and then we'll be able to switch out the one he has in his room for this one. It's bigger, it's more space, and it's perfect. So I got that also from Pequeño Mundo. And then random items over here. I ordered my daughter some pajamas because she needed some pajama bottoms, but they didn't have just pajama bottoms where we went. We went to Ekona, which is a department store. We had a gift card that we got from my brother-in-law. And so I got her set. We ordered this online because they didn't have her size in store. So I went and picked it up today. And then this is from the pharmacy. I ran out of the correction tape, so I got that. And then also from Econo, while I was waiting to pick up my pajamas at the cash register, temptation struck. These are like really good quality chocolates. I've heard a lot about these. You don't see these in supermarkets here, but they had them in Econo, so I wanted to try them. The Cadbury Dairy Milk. I see a lot of like UK people talk about Dairy Milk and Milka. This is like a wafer type of chocolate and then the Ritter Sport. Somebody I watch on YouTube talks a lot about Ritter Sports. So I got the Ritter Sport Macadamia and I'm going to put those away for me for a nice little treat. All right guys, so I'm gonna include this clip in our grocery haul because it is included in the monthly budget. 
because when I made my meal plan, I realized that there were just a few things that I was still missing. And so I went back to Walmart. I went to a bigger Walmart and then I went to our local auto mercado and picked up the rest of the items that I needed for the month. So now we'll be all set at least for a couple of weeks. I won't have to go back to the grocery store. So I spent now with all the grocery stores and all the food that I bought, I spent about $500. So I'm going to share everything I got with you guys. This is all a combination from Walmart and Auto Mercado. So yesterday was my husband's birthday and he didn't have a cake. And I just felt really bad because how do you celebrate a special occasion like a birthday without cake. So I asked him what he wanted and he was kind of describing something that was peanut buttery. So I got, I did the best I could. I got what I could. Um, I didn't get an entire cake because they didn't have the cake that he was describing to me. So I got this slice for him. It's a chocolate brownie tort. So I'm thinking this is something that he will like. And then this is kind of like a cake roll. So I figured we could all share this. And this is like a chocolate cake roll. And it has like a, it looks like a chocolate mousse filling. So I got those for him so that we could mark the occasion a day late, but still. And then I remembered that I forgot to get turkey bacon at Price Mart. So I did go back to Price Mart and picked up turkey bacon. This comes with three individual packages. So I will use one and I'll put that in the refrigerator and then I'll freeze the other two. And this lasts me a very, very, very long time because as a family of six, only three of us eat turkey bacon. So I have bacon on the menu twice and I remembered I needed to pick that up. So that's that. I got some lemonade to have in the refrigerator. These were on sale at Auto Mercado, the Baby Bell cheeses, so I picked that up. And then I got my husband some of the veggie cheese slices for him. I'm making burgers tonight, so that will go great with that. I got some chicken burgers so that we could have that in the refrigerator. Um, mostly for my 12 year old son because he's not a big beef eater so I got him that I got some fish nuggets to have in the freezer then I haven't gotten this in a while so I picked it up the restaurant style crunchy onion rings these are really good and it has quinoa and amaranth so I picked that up and then some more fries I like these super crisp ones, so I got that. I do have fries in the fridge, but I also have fries on the menu a couple of times, so I needed that. Frozen veggies just to have in the freezer. This is a great option to have on hand. Then I decided to get my husband this Palermo's Primo Thin Ultra Thin Crust Margarita Pizza. He loves pizza, but he doesn't indulge as often as... He would like because obviously pizza is not the healthiest and he's more on the healthier side of things than the rest of the family but he does really like pizza and it's been a while since he's had some good pizza i know frozen pizza can be eh but i wanted him to give that a try and then a ton of bread products because we go through bread like crazy we love 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 these chapata rolls these are amazing. I keep calling them chapata. They're ciabatta. Ciabatta rolls. And they come frozen and they're just delicious. So I got two bags of that. I got some sandwich thins for my husband. I mean, I say for my husband because he's the one that eats a sandwich pretty much every day. But this is for everyone. But he does like these, the whole grain thins. And then burger buns. Like I said, we're making burgers tonight for dinner. I get these pretty often for my husband, the mission style wraps. And then I picked up some thick and chunky salsa. This is the great value brand. And this is the spicy, the hot. And then I got some queso because I have tacos on the menu. Some jalapeno hot sauce. 
some yellow mustard again just to have on hand but we're having burgers again like i mentioned and then two containers of honey mustard now this is from walmart and walmart sells these small containers of honey mustard now even though i knew i was going to auto mercado after walmart i still bought this for two reasons. For one, I didn't want to get to Auto Mercado and they were out of honey mustard. So I picked this up. And then two, my 12 year old son is obsessed with honey mustard. He puts it on almost everything. So we go through honey mustard pretty quickly. So it's just nice to have a backup. So I got two of those. And then I mentioned we have tacos on the menu. So I got two boxes of the old El Paso crunchy tacos. And this is 24 tacos, so this will be more than enough for our family. I like these coffee drinks. So I picked up five of those for me. I like the vanilla the best, but I also got a cappuccino and a mocha. And I drink those like a meal, pretty much, with ice. It's really good. We like the Cheddar Jack Cheez-Its, so I picked up another box to have on hand for snacking. And then I got some uh, tortilla chips. Uh, I figured maybe for when we have our taco night, we could also do like a side of nachos for everyone. So I got those, and these are one of our favorites. Some plantain chips and the popcorners. This went up in price, but everybody loves this, the sweet kettle corn. So I picked that up and then non-food items because that's all the food stuff, right? Non-food items. I did get a new broom because I like to switch up my broom at least once or twice a year. So I got a new broom. And then these are actually bins that I picked up yesterday. I went back to Bikini Mundo and I bought some more storage bins and we have our um emergency food stock storage we don't have like a pantry like a big walk-in pantry and we don't really have like a storage space so this works for now and then i got some dishwashing liquid i usually get this from my in-laws but since i was in the aisle in walmart i went ahead and picked that up and then i needed one of these um hand lighters and this one's pretty interesting because it's rechargeable you just uh open it up and you refill it with the big lighters so i thought that was pretty genius so i got two more just in case this runs out i think my husband and i are going to look on amazon for like a rechargeable one or solar one or one with like a usb charging port situation so that we can have one that's a little bit more i don't know economical eco-friendly i guess is what i'm trying to say i don't know but i picked that up because i've been needing one for a while and then i got another one of the great value disinfecting wipes we like to use these to wipe down our bathrooms some more fabuloso because i like to have a backup of this and we just opened the other one and this is antibacterial, and you can use this for a bunch of different bunch of different things. You can wipe down your kitchen appliances, you can clean your bathroom, you can clean your furniture, and you can clean your floors. So I like to have that, and it smells really good too, and it's cheap, it's a bonus. My husband's been wanting one of these brushes for a while, so I picked him one up. And then I'm going to switch out the brush I have um, the two brushes I have for dishes and cups. So I thought this one was a little bit better, just more sturdy and it's smaller too. So saves on space and another one for our dishes. Now that is everything. Again, like I mentioned with everything, with all the hauls for the month of January, I have spent so far about $500. So guys, that is everything I picked up today from Price Mart, Auto Mercado, and Pequeño Mundo. If you guys watched this video, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.